In this video, I'm going to show you the best 4K export settings in Premiere Pro 2020. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. And if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So once you have Premiere open up, the first thing I'm going to do is drag my 4K footage onto my timeline. And what that does is that creates a 4K sequence. And then next, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm completely finished with my edit. So now we're ready to export. So I'm going to take this little timeline marker and I'm going to go to the very beginning. And I'm going to press I on the keyboard for N. And then I'm going to go to the end of my footage and I'm going to press O on the keyboard for out. And what that does is it tells Premiere Pro the section that you want to export on your timeline. I'm then going to go up to File, Export, Media. And then from there, I'm just going to go ahead and run through my export settings. So the first thing I want to do is go over to Format, make sure it's set to H.264. And then Preset is going to be changed to Custom. Output Name, just click on this. It's going to be where you plan on saving your video to once you, you export it just name this whatever and then select the file location and then press save and next go ahead and check export video and export audio because you want to make sure that both of those things export together when your video comes out in its final product then you want to review your summary section make sure everything looks good and then go down here to where it says basic video settings and I want you to make sure that the width is set to 3840 and the height is set to 2160 for frame rate, my frame rate that I want to export at is 23.976, but yours might be different. So in order to change this, all you have to do is uncheck this box here and then select whatever frame rate that you would like. Next, I want you to make sure that field order is set to progressive and aspect should be square pixels 1.0. And then you can check render at maximum depth. For the encoding settings, performance, make sure that this is set to software encoding and that the profile, you can uncheck this, is set to high and the level is set to 5.2. And you might have to go back and make a couple of changes. Uh, the only thing that really pops up that's different is the TV standard at this point. So it could be different for whatever country that you are, you are in. So if you're in the United States or in Japan, you will use NTSC, but if you're in Europe or Asia, you're gonna use PAL. And in order to change this, just uncheck this here and then select the necessary one that you need. And now we'll get down to the bitrate settings. And in the bitrate settings, this is gonna make all the difference in what your quality looks like at the end of once your video exports. So what I do, since I upload a majority of my videos to YouTube, I export my videos at the highest quality possible. This is going to be an extremely large file size, but since YouTube or Vimeo or anything, any platform that I try to upload to on the internet, usually compresses the video down and makes the quality go down significantly. I like to export at the max quality possible to try to counter that. So what I'll do is I'll set the bitrate encoding to CPR and then I'll change the target bitrate to 100. And this is going to bring up the file size dramatically. You do have a second option though. So let's say I'm doing a video for a client and this is for a wedding and it's not necessarily going to go on YouTube, but I just want to make sure that they have a very nice quality video. Straight out of Premiere Pro, once you export it, it's going to look great. But any platform that you upload it to, like YouTube, is going to drop it. You can play around with the CBR settings. You can bring them down to 80 or you can bring them down to 60. That's just something that you'll have to play around with though. But if you're just doing this for a client and they just want the video to have on a disc so they can watch it at home, you can use these settings here and it's gonna still look great because you don't have to worry about the video being compressed at all. So change the bitrate encoding to VBR2 pass and then I want you to change the target bitrate to 40 and the maximum bitrate to 60. And this is gonna make your quality look great and it's gonna drop that file size down significantly. You can try utilizing this on YouTube. I use CBR every single time because I've had that experience in the past where quality dropped significantly, but you can get away with VBR2 pass from time to time. It's just something that you got to play around with. Next, I want you to go over to use maximum render quality and check this box here. And then that's it for my video settings. So next I'm going to go over to my audio settings and I just want to make sure the audio format settings for audio format is set to AAC. Basic audio settings, audio codec, AAC. Sample rate should be set to 48,000. Channels should be set to stereo and audio quality should always be set to high. Bitrate settings, just make sure this is set to 320. And then for advanced settings, precedence, 
just make sure that bitrate is selected. Once you're done making all your export setting adjustments, you can then go up here and select save preset. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna ask you to name it. It's going to save you a bunch of time later on down the road. It's basically a preset for you to be able to just click on every single time. Let's say you wanna use these specific settings for a specific video. You don't have to go through this process every single time. So it cuts the process in half. And then once you're done with that, just go ahead and click export. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Wait it like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.